nice and wide in the rear. Well, good morning, everybody. Today, Mr. G, we're going to do something different with Crossout. We are going to build something from scratch, something I haven't done for a while. And we're going to make something that does not have hover and or purple parts. So we're going to make a blue or lower build. And we're going to see what we can do with that. I'm going to walk you guys through my build process and uh, drink my morning coffee. So somebody on the YouTube, oh, I can't remember who it was. It was like, uh, maybe Mr. G, it was a quantum, it was quantum bullet. It was like, dude, can you build something that maybe we can all afford that doesn't have like 10 Icarus on it? And that's a fair point. So we're going to try that today. We're going to throw a little Don's children in because I've yet to try out the synthesis. So we're going to give that a go. So whenever I'm making a build, uh, the first thing I always try and figure out is what weapon do I want to run? And then we're going to follow that up with what cab do we want to slap on it? So let's grab some chassis. Oh, let's see what we can do. So we're going to keep this blue. That means no quantum. I want to put a quantum cab on it. But we're going to maybe do do wyvern instead. I'm going to try and do wyvern instead. Now I would also do always put at least a fuel tank and a fuel barrel. However, for some reason on my promo account, I only can run a regular fuel barrel, but I would always recommend that you do uh, both of those. Da, da, da. Let's stick the old radio down there. I always try and like get the chassis in and as much hardware underneath the cab as possible. Let's shrink this up a bit. So, I'm gonna stick a wyvern on there. And since we're going to be running, let's look at the synthesis here. If there's anything we need to know about it. Launches a dense batch of overheated plasma. Does it use energy or does it use ammo? Well, we better get some wheels on this thing and find out. Speaking of wheels, what do we want to put on this thing? Oh, pro probably good with... Some racing wheel steering for now. Keep it sort of fast. Uh, we could do small tracks, but no. Mm, it's regular racing wheels. Boom, bang, boom. And just yeah, for testing purposes here. I love the Wyvern cab, but the fact that you can't mount anything to the cab itself is, is terrible. Now, this is not a finished build here. I'm just, we're testing here. We always figure out what your weapon needs. Before you spend ages of time working on it. So let's take it in. It doesn't have ammo. So then it must be... Cool down. You gotta get your timing right. Oh, you could do really well with a macro. Okay, don't don't make a keyboard macro for the same. Don't do that. Okay. Oh, I really... Racing wheels are nice and fast, but... Oof. I don't, not in love with the look of them. All right, let's throw a light engine on. That's something everybody should have. If you don't get one, I mean, it doesn't hardly require any any energy at all. Yeah, it doesn't require any energy at all, in fact. So let's put that in front because it doesn't go explodey. So we'll move the old fuel barrel to the back. Get light engine under there. See if we can fit it. I haven't done a build video in a while. There's a lot of me rambling and moving parts around. Which is why I don't normally do them. Because I feel like, who would want to watch me just get frustrated? And I take forever. And I just change stuff back and forth all the time. Uh, no, no, no. Get up. And it's, I still have my coffee, too. Uh, okay, let's take a six. Well, let's make this one a six, too. Maybe let's move the cab back a bit. What do I want on this thing for wheels? I don't want it to be too heavy. Wheels that everybody has. I do like the twin wheels. I do. I really do. Let's just have more structure. We're going to do twin wheels. We're going to do steering in the back and the front. And then just regular old axles in the middle. Yeah, they're probably one of my favorite sets of wheels. They, they look good, they give you good stability, and they have a nice structure. Okay, so we're going to put on what? We're just sticking with blue, right? So we're going to put on 
hazardous generator. This one will fit nicely. So, all right, first job. We've done chassis, hardware, cab. Um, we've got 12 points of energy left. Let's look around. These are going to take us four. So we run three. That'll be perfect. So we're going to armor up, get some gun mounts on this thing. There's some room for some spaced armor at the front. So I'd like to start with grills first, if we can. We can cover those up a little bit later. We're going to try and keep this one light. So we're going to use a fair bit of nomad armor if we can. I always like to slap in the AV offender if I can, because it looks nice. Whoop, whoop. All right, bang, bang, boom. Let's get the other one on. Nope, wait, nope. Let's move this back one, just for the sake of aesthetics. Let's get that in there. All right, we're gonna put on the front front. We will probably put like a plow or something on this. Boom, boom. Try and make this just all nice. Look at that. Oh, sleek. Beautiful. And dare we get it real fancy here. And we got enough weight that we can fit. Do we do the small plow, you guys? We should probably do the small plow. Oh, I don't know what to do with that. I don't want to put two of these. Will kill us on weight one. It really will. We'll, we'll leave it for now because it just it looks okay. And can we get one more of these in the back? Can we sneak it over the back? And one more of these. Bing bang boom. I don't know where to mount weapons, um, but I'm just enjoying playing with nomad parts because I like rarely. Rarely do I do anything of this shape. Stick. Oh, so we're going to be off by one, aren't we? Um, let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to try not to overdo using small parts, guys. If you're, down, if you're limited by how many parts you can use, always try and stick with bigger pieces. So you get more structure to part ratio. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky with my promo account of at 80. So I can fiddle around and play more, you know, more stupidly than somebody who's limited to like 55 or something. Or if you're really new and you have less than that, that's no good. All right, we're going to do some grills. Keep this thing light in the back. Okay, one more here. Even that out. Maybe some fenders. Maybe some fenders. I don't know if I'm going to like those. Can we bring them out one more? Can we do that? It's not going to let us, is it? I uh, don't know if I like those. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. See, this is why I never do video me building. Because I just am so particular. It's got to look, at least in my opinion, it's got to look cool. Or I don't want to drive it. It doesn't look cool. I don't want to drive it. I mean, half the fun of this game for me is this part, this building bit. Which I haven't shown you guys in forever since my early videos, so we're doing it today. All right, we need a good platform for mounting these things on. Can we fit? Can we fit two of these in the rear without it looking terrible? For our synthesis, we can. Let's come out one more weld point in the rear here, which will make our fenders look cooler. And we have none of those left, but we'll just we'll grab one of these, slip that around. Make it symmetrical, we'll grab this one. I know we're off, but we got the hazardous gen, so we had to be a little. We're gonna switch this to an eight. I could have just used the side ones, but we want to keep it, keep our parts, the amount of parts down a little bit. Grab those, and slap those back on. Another one, widen the back. I don't mind widen the back. Don't take that out of context. You guys are going to, I know, but I'm gonna let you. Um, fenders. Bing, 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 bang. All right, Torino fender. Can we fit this one inside the large fender? Not quite. Oh, that would be. How do I move this? Let's come down. Will it fit? You know what? We're gonna do large fenders. Why not? And we'll move that center axle of a skosh. 
nice and wide in the rear end there. Okay. And then just in case we get wheels blown off. All right, we're going to ditch those because they're in the way. Decided maybe I don't like those. Okay. We'll figure out how to armor that in a minute. Let's get some guns on this. A couple of guns. Whoop. We need one more. And can we just mount it? Straight up there on the front. All right. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Okay. How are we doing on grill pieces? Can we afford a few grill pieces? Whoop. Slap those in there. Always good for filler and keep your weight down, keep your structure. If you don't have enough parts, part limit, no, stay away from grills then. If you don't have the part limit. Use up pieces that are going to give you a little more structure. Can I fit this in without looking terribly ugly? Oh, if we bring it up, we bring it up a bit. Then we'll ditch these and we'll switch these to the other panels and that'll look flush. That shouldn't look too bad. We'll just, re, we'll just redo our design a bit here. We'll just redo it a bit. So we'll grab the old Avia panel small. The workhorse. Nope, we'll make it Avia panel large. It'll save us some parts. And the small. Okay. And then maybe an oblique. Good. Gonna fit. And then maybe we do a we fit the large. We do it. We need a three. Oh, it's a fit just right in there. Beautiful. So we're getting parts that don't weigh too much. Give us a little bit of structure. Can we fit a Torino fender over that without it looking ridiculous? I bet we can't, but I just want to see. Because we have that weld point right there. Well, it does look ridiculous, but uh, I kind of like it. I don't know why. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. We are going to slap... Speaking of grills, one more grill piece. Uh, is it going to scrape? Is it going to scrape? I'm going to see how our center of gravity looks with after this. And, oh, you get this train plow. We're going to be a little heavy for this one. Oh, we're not over one tonnage. And uh, that's quite a few parts left over. But I'm making a build using only blues. That most y'all should be able to make, hopefully. Let's stick another one of these. Yeah, why not? Six fenders on this bad boy. Look at that. Mmm. A little more tonnage left, folks. Parts can make this thing look cool. We look cool with this. We get a little protection for our gun. Oh, speaking of gun protection, we give this thing a little turret box. Enough of these. You can use regular fenders. You don't have to use fancy Torino fenders for that. If you don't want to. I'm going to, because we can right there. It looks kind of cool. And it'll look cool if I slap on a little more armor here for our front gun so it doesn't get blasted off. From there. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then we're going to stick some just. Well, at the end, that's what I do. We got extra parts, we got extra tonnage. This is where we're just doing structure, but we're mostly just trying to make her look pretty, guys. You know, with just this fun time. Oh, forgot to cover her back end. Steppenwolf part. You don't have to use Steppenwolf parts. Use whatever you got. They're a little lighter than scavenger parts. Um, little wrap items on the back. Why not, you guys? So, bing, bang, boom. There we go. I don't know. You know I love the spoiler. I'm always putting spoilers on things. Probably don't need spoilers. Paint it. What are we going to do? Let's slap some paint on this thing. It's a little haze. And da -da 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 -da. let's throw just carbon on. Carbon's a dual one. You get the Midgar pack. You can get carbon. You can get aluminum. It doesn't cost you too much money. And you get some parts. Some stuff you can sell. All right. Let's test drive it. Um, first, we should probably check our driver. Let's put Jade in for the energy weapon bonuses. Check our weapon groups. I want these all on one. That's fine. And let's take her out for a spin. Okay, center of gravity is a little heavy in the rear. 
Let me drop the Steppenwolf armor off the back. But you know what? No, it's let's check. Let's hit in. It's pretty. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right because center of gravity is not too good. Just gotta repeat, and we can shoot. At least the ones in the rear we can shoot behind us. We can traverse. We do okay with this. We're making good speed here. This is a build that most of y'all should be able to afford to make. It's all blues. It's nothing too expensive. Nothing fancy. Only one Don's children part on here, the synthesis, which is in most people's budget. And we're doing a little highlight on it. So let's uh, take it out in combat. Now, my level's probably a little high, so we might get spanked a little bit taking this out. Let's, let's do it. Let's try it out one battle. Get in there. He's got a quasars. He's only got two wheels on it. Oh my goodness, and like no armor. Guys going full seal clubbing. Uh, who's, who's hitting us at range here? Do we do any damage at this range? No, no projectile drop. I don't know if the damage drops off at range. Oh, we're getting hit by the same weapon that we're left. You're gonna see a lot of this weapon at this power score. Oh my god, I have to read the first time I've used it. And we should be blowing his weapons off, which I'm not doing well. Oh! Well, we took him out with our friend there. But we're down to one left. So perhaps armoring these a little bit better might be worth it. So I might redo the uh, gun mounts in the back. Make little nice turret boxes like I did on the front. Use some fenders for that. Oh, uh, sidekicks. Well, that's why we test drive, folks. Alright, so that was a good test drive. So if I were to redo these, probably ditch those. Um, let's flip this around. We gotta get it high enough. Um, that's not gonna be high enough. And let's see what we can fit around it. Yes, I like this. And let's stick them back in there. We get a little armor. They did get blown off fairly quickly. Can we ditch this? There we go. We'll ditch. We'll ditch the uh, spoiler we don't need. And we'll just slap that together. It's a little ugly. You know, Torino's would look a little better. I don't know if I have enough of those. Um, apparently we do. But this would be something you guys would have, would be the regular, just this regular size fender. Yeah, I got none left, so we'll just use the regular old fenders. And maybe we can do a little bit more armoring up, change the back end a bit, get a, get a little more armor on the sides there. This one maybe could use a little bit more armor, but we want it to be able to turn. That should help us out a little bit, though. We dropped them down. Um, can we still shoot with them? We can't. Obviously, I need to paint them. That's going to bother me. We can't shoot with all three, though, as often now, but we don't want to get degun. So that is my process, you guys. Usually before I do a video, I do all of that before I get to you, minus the taking it into combat. I kind of like to let you guys see my first time with builds. But let me know if you guys like these kind of videos where I just walk you through the actual building part. So let me know what you guys want to see next. Leave me those feedback in the comments. I do videos every day. If you want to see more, throw us a sub. I'd love to see you back on the channel, but that's it for today. I gotta go to work. Mr. G out. <laughs>